Ladies and gentlemen, Geek Kim here. Welcome to the Daily Update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up slightly here, about 0.1% on the S&P. Nasdaq is down a little bit though. Semiconductor, however, made a huge move today, 2% positive. While the uh, Dow, uh, small caps, transport, and the banks up slightly today. Energy cut a bit today, 1% positive. Biotech up about half a percentage along with the healthcare. However, home builder is pretty much flat. Utilities down along with the retail. However, utilities got hit harder here, 1.5% negative emerging market is positive today it looks like bitcoin made a move 7.7 percent .7 positive gold up silver up da, da. the miners up about half a percent is there dollar is down oil is up treasury bond is down vix popped a little bit let's do it s p 500 etf spider 65 minute chart here so it looks like uh this is where we yes this is where we closed yesterday right there right so it looks like we initially saw a little bit let's zoom in here and kind of talk about what we, what happened today so it looks like we gapped up right this is where it closed we gapped up a little bit of fluctuations on the first hour not able to kind of hold that gap that gap got immediately filled on that first hour and then you can see on the second hour came back down and then it looks like we held this vicinity as that micro term pivot so that's a second and you can see the third four fifth six pretty much hung around did uh, absolutely nothing the entire day on the s p while the all the action uh, was in the semiconductor along with the emerging market and energy today and while the all the other indices slightly green uh you know with the utilities being down today so s p really didn't do much pretty much flat today so uh you know let's zoom out here and let's kind of observe uh, kind of the you know overall trend here you can see we have not retested my short-term moving average last time we did that was back in october 27th so today is you know being october 8th or november 8th so it's been about uh you know two weeks or so since we have not seen my short-term moving average getting retested at some point it's going to and currently um you can see that there's a slight gap here that's still slightly open that's the vicinity where short-term moving average guarding at this point i think the short term both of the short term support level is 466.86 right that's the uh prior resistance uh acted as a new support and this is how we held above that level for the last couple of days if we do break below it should there be any kind of you know slide going into uh, this week and i'm giving you these uh, levels 464.75 is going to be a little bit stronger support just because we have my short-term moving average residing in that vicinity that short-term moving average does carry uh you know pretty decent resume because last time when we did see this market uh you know come down towards the end of the hour you can see right there and the uh, next day we gapped right back up and never looked back and that was that short-term moving average level there and so with that i have to say that short-term moving average does rather carry a decent resume and we should definitely pay attention to 464.75 or so should there be any kind of slide going into next uh, couple days or so currently uh, it looks like we might have another bull pennant type of pattern uh, it, it's been kind of we've been having these kind of patterns all throughout last month or so you can see how these kind of patterns continue to develop here and market continues to move higher with these continuation pattern i don't know how long it will continue in that fashion but nonetheless we do have that continuation bullish pattern there but keep in mind i've said this before many times there could be some kind of zigzagging action a little bit of hiccup or something like that it doesn't always gonna give you that perfect breakout sometimes it'll come down make it look like it's coming down and then goes right back or sometimes you see a gap up and looks like it's breaking out and then it's gonna come right back down before going higher and so there could be a lot of shenanigans that occur if you get too intimate with these kind of a you know continuation pattern so keep that in mind 
Um, so let's check out that oscillator real quick and see if you can extract any more information. Um, so this is kind of what we've been talking about here. The oscillator has been elevated uh, since the, you can see right, since uh, back in October 13th. Once we reclaim that short-term moving average right there and we saw that cross right there, Ever since then, you can see my oscillator is elevated, right? Elevated and oscillating at the top of his band, top half of his band, right? You see that how it's not coming back down to the bottom of his band. We've been talking about this signal for the last week or so, week and a half or so, and when we see the oscillator, Elevate it like this. We want to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers because we don't know when this is going to come back down. We could continue. So when the oscillator is oscillates back and forth at the top of his band, pretty much it crosses uh, these kind of signals becomes uh, not as useful. This is the reason why I haven't been talking about oh the oscillator hit the overbought. Oh, it oscillator is curling down. None of that really matters when the oscillator is actually elevated like this. You can see here. Let me clear this up. You can see there were these uh, crosses back down. None of that helped anybody because you can see price kept moving higher, right? And same thing here, there's a cross there. That didn't do anything, you know what I'm saying? The market kept moving on. There's that cross, what happened? Kept going higher. There's that cross, what happened? Little pullback, got right back up, short-term moving average in that vicinity, guarding that level, protecting that vicinity. So that's kind of what I'm saying. This is the reason why I haven't been putting a lot of emphasis, uh, emphasis on these uh, you know, oscillator crosses because it really doesn't mean much. If the market decided tomorrow, right, we're gonna see a uh, distinct break in out of this bull pen and pen and go continue higher to the upside you will see this thing crossing right back up getting at the top of his band and it's just gonna this this recent move right this this recent decline on the oscillator it's just not gonna mean much this is why we haven't been i haven't been paying attention to these crosses because us you know the elevation of this oscillators it's telling us that it, nobody knows how long this market is going to continue like this. We got to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers. And it's detrimental if you're trying to get lucky with your shorts and puts. Yeah, you can try about 10 times. You might get one time lucky, but about nine times you will uh, completely uh, blow that uh, tray. Let me come back for you. We'll reassess the situation, right? Enjoy your evening and good luck trading tomorrow.